Hello. Shh. Be very quiet. There's a dragon attacking this mill. I'm gonna have to put the vampire battle on hold for a bit. We have some lives to save. Oh, what? What is that? My, my cursor is clearly showing. Oh, I wonder if you guys can see that. I'm gonna have to shut down Skyrim and reboot it. Oh, that sucks too because Steam is going to have to synchronize my files because it wants to do nothing with them. Regular Dragon, we'll get this job done first. Your breath didn't even reach me. You're a weak little dragon. Okay, okay, you got me. You got me. You don't have to you don't have to prove anything, dragon. It's fine. I know you have some breath. Whatever. That got him. Nice. Go ahead and use a bit of the healing while I have full magicka and not full health. And here he comes again. Oh, he's just gonna hover this time. Well, I've got something for that. Oh, and he's still gonna get me. Of course, it doesn't take him any time to move his head. Am I stuck in this rock? No. It doesn't take him any time to turn his head straight at me. As long as he's breathing. The coating says, make head face angle blah, and it's instantly there, and the breath is still hitting me. Bogus. Whirlwind Sprint should be like a dodge mechanic, like in God of War, where, uh, Whenever you use, I think it's the, uh, let's see, is it the right analog stick? Maybe it's if you hold a trigger and use the left analog stick. Um, it'll, your guy does a roll and he's like literally invulnerable while doing the roll. You can't be hurt. It's like a dodge mechanic. It's awesome. You can do a lot of stuff in combat with it to make combat a lot more complex. You can make enemy attack routines a lot more complex since uh, you have like a reliable way of not getting hit by one. You can make timings tighter on attacks. Whereas, you know, in Skyrim a lot of stuff has like a like a wind-up animation, just to let you know the attack's coming so you can potentially block it. Whoa, we got some mud crab business here. Oh, what? I missed the mud crab. I, I'm hitting flying dragons. I'm missing mud crabs. There's like a fleet of mud crabs here. What is this? Oh, oh, Lydia's got me covered. Oh, she really has me covered. Should have listened to myself. Okay, we have a dragon soul to absorb. And, uh, we have a vampire war to continue waging. Oh, and as I leave a nondescript cave, let me mention... <laughs> a, my cursor's still in this, but, uh, but check it out, check it out. Launch my stamina really closely. <gasps> and it went out. And I am still traveling. Oh, hey, and, uh, while I'm s leaving this nondescript cave... Check this out. So you just saw my stamina run out, and it actually did the flash thing, and I was out of breath. Look, I'm sprinting, and it even slowed me down. You guys might not have been able to see that real well, but it appears that my my stamina glitch is lifted, which uh, I kind of like. I think that's a good thing. Um, I didn't really abuse it. I didn't consciously abuse it before. There were some points in time where I just ran and just kept running, because I was like, I'm just getting there quicker. I'm not, like, beating a hard part. But this means that uh, I'm going to have to start putting some points into stamina a bit more evenly. Um, I've kind of been pursuing health real hard. I haven't been doing the 80-20 split that I started out saying I was going to. Um, so you guys will probably see some of that in the near future. Stamina. Oh, thank God. The Fort Dawnguard fast travel position just now sat me down right there. Right in front of the fort. That is a beautiful place to be. I really hope it keeps up that kind of behavior. Ha <laughs> ha, and finally, the cursor is gone from my screen. Okay, so I'm in Fort Dawnguard. Uh, I've poked around a bit. I've gotten a lot of steel bolts, and uh, since the last video, I actually did uh, a lot of play off camera. And I've leveled up a couple times. I'm now level 25. Uh, I was able to get two sneak perks that I don't think you guys have seen yet. Of course, muffled movement. That makes uh, noise from my armor reduced by 50%. This is somewhat useful, but... Uh, more so just getting up the rest of this tree. Eventually I'll go, uh, likely all the way to Shadow Warrior, so... Uh, might as well get it now. It will help a little bit now. And I've got an Assassin's Blade! Fifteen times normal damage! I am holding a dagger now, instead of any kind of crazy axe or any kind of madness like that. So, uh, I got another perk in one-handed, um, but that puts me at two. Uh, actually, you know what? I might have... That second one might have been on camera. 
Uh, I know this was off camera though. I've now got uh, five out of five overdraw, so the bow damage twice as much. That puts my uh, my crossbow is doing like 84 damage, I think, right now. Um, I don't think I've gotten anything else. No, just those uh, just those few. And a couple extra levels. Uh, you'll notice I did stack, I think, two of them in stamina. As I did show, my, my stamina glitch is not working anymore, which is great. That is very sweet indeed. Now, uh, I've been given a quest to uh, go locate a moth priest, but I think I might do this a little bit differently than I did the uh, vampire side. Uh, the vampire side, I just pounded right through the storyline missions just to get through them as quickly as possible and uh, and keep them subsequent too so you know I didn't get off track or I uh, didn't go off on a tangent but uh, I think I want to try to do some of these side quests in between actually completing the full quest line so that I can uh, power some things up so I'm going to ask Soreen, I think I'm going to ask Soreen and I can ask Gunmar, what can I do to help? I want to add some punch to our crossbow kit. Oh games. yeah. Done all I can on my own. I need a little inspiration. Oh, let me inspire you. I've always been fascinated with Dwemer artifacts. Oh. I take them apart, oh. put them in their guts, and try to figure mm -hmm. things out. With mixed results. But as luck would have it, I've tracked down the location of some actual Dwemer diagram drawings. Oh, yeah. A so Dwemer crossbow, tell me. Yeah, yes, I will me? certainly. The plans are yours, they're already yours. Look, I'm there. I've teleported instantly into the dungeon. No, not really. Um... Do you know anything about the old Dongar? I've only heard stories. Not sure if any of them are true. Stories? What about this place? Like that they were supposed to guard some vampire here, but oh. wound up all becoming vampires themselves when they saw how powerful <laughs> he was. I wonder if that's Harkonnen. And then prayed on the rift until finally someone put them down. Oh, no, no, that can't I be Harkonnen. Yes, it doesn't then. matter now. At least Isran is trying to do something noble with the name. Yeah, I guess. It sounds like a pretty tarnished yeah. name. And uh, then there's Gunmar. Okay, so I happen to know something of Gunmar. Um, last I knew, Lydia was there's still following me. me. Hold on. Can I, can I find Lydia? Can is Lydia around? Huh. I wonder if she can't follow me in here because she's not technically Dongard recruited. Um, I want to put her on hold, now, though. But we can't stay hold up here forever. I, I want an armored troll, Gunmar. Hey, lad. All right. Now take note. Huh. He'll mind you and us Dawn Guard, but there's no accounting for other people. What? And he does What do you mean beast. there's He's no pet. Mistreat the beast or leave him alone for too long, and he'll return to the wild forgetting you ever existed. Well, sure, now, he's a troll. Be careful with the creature. I'm really surprised you trained him at all. Can I give him orders? Oh, there he is. Check my armored troll out. They've got, like, blade gauntlets attached to them? I don't, they, they look like they're... They're some kind of iron ring, so they those don't come off ever. Same thing with shoulder pads, helmet. She's got a, he's got a chest piece. He grunts. Troll, follow me. Troll, wait. Troll, get lost. <laughs> troll, follow me. Oh, look at him! Oh, look at the troll! I have an armored troll. There's an armored troll following me. I cannot wait to see. Oh yeah, I'm using a dwarven dagger right now. I cannot wait to see. Oh, and I've got an elven shield too. Do you guys see that? Yeah, that's nice. That's a new shield. That's a little, a little bit better on the, uh, on the statistics there. Um, I cannot wait though, to engage. I wonder, if I sneak, what does he do? Does he sneak? Do I? Does the troll get to sneak? I don't think he's sneaking. I think he's just running around like an ape, like normal. Uh, so wow. Um. Oh, I want to ask Gunmar before I go. I want to try to get two side quests. I want to try to knock two out. Two birds with one stone. One trip out of the fort into and out of the fort and two tasks completed. Gunmar, what can I do to help you? I've located the whereabouts of a vampire masquerading Ooh. as a common citizen. Sounds common. Track him down and dispose of him. A traveling like bard. The law is unaware of the Using his charm. What a filthy, filthy little sod. What is the vampire doing? Vampires enjoy stalking their prey. Okay, and playing flutes to them. Emboldens them, makes them feel powerful, untouchable. <laughs> but we'll put a swift end to that. I'm gonna to touch that. him. I'm gonna touch him in a real good way. Can we inform the Jarl's men of the threat? <laughs> this totally doesn't sound like. Uh, how can I avoid trouble with the law? You must be clever. Find a way not to be caught or accused of murder. Huh. You'll figure something Can't out. I reveal that he's a you vampire? Vigilant and self-sufficient if we are to defeat these monsters. Vigilant and self-sufficient. 
Can't we inform the Jarl's men of the threat? Alas, the vampire can cloud the minds of those he preys upon. Oh, so this guy's Who set up in this city, huh? He's got he's got mirages, illusions the going on for proof that we can't present. And Jarls disapprove of bloodshed they haven't called for themselves. Okay, so if I could Best prove not it. to damage our reputation. Let your actions be as discreet as possible. Discreet? I mean, what if it's honest? What if I, uh, what if I go the Justicar route? The Inquisitor understood. I'll the do it, Gunmar. With you. So I have a vampire to kill, and I have a dwarven crossbow to... I think that's what that's setting up for, anyway. I've got some, uh, some blueprints to acquire. That sounds great. That actually sounds, uh, more interesting than any of this main quest dialogue. Any of this main quest is gonna be like... I just, I am not looking forward to... Hearing about their poorly developed vampire characters any longer. Uh, let's get this showboat on the road, though. Where are we? We've got hide and seek and ancient technology prop. It's going to be put on hold for a little bit, at least for this video. I'll probably go right back to it, and then I'll probably just try to uh, seesaw, do one then the other, then one then the other. Ooh, uh, yeah, we're going for the crossbow piece first. That is, that has to happen. Uh, so, oh, what? No way. No way! Is this, is this, oh, check it out! I have Lydia and an armored troll. It's letting me have both. The armored troll is in addition to your follower. It's like a dog. I wonder if it, like, replaces a dog. That is so much cooler than a dog. Can I pat him? Can I give him, like, a treat? Are there troll treats? I need some troll treats. Lydia, Lydia's still following me. I can still use her as a pack mule. I've actually kind of got Lydia decked out since you guys saw her. Ebony shield. Uh, some mace with some thunderbolt stuff going on. I don't know. I love that she uses the charge really slow, though. If she even uses it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know that followers use charge. That would actually be awesome if they didn't. Wonder how bad the troll is going to be at keeping up with me when I go off-road. I wonder if, uh, if he can climb like the AP looks. Oh boy. Uh, I just did a bit of a wait to try to get Lydia and my troll to pop up behind me after doing some, some heavy, uh, cliffhanging. And the troll did not pop up. I do not know what's happened. I hope my troll is not in battle somewhere. I hope he didn't uh, get split off. And hopefully they don't die real easy. Trolls are kind of tough, right? Whoa! There he is. Scary silhouette. Ape-like silhouette. Running towards me. This is going to be the troll episode. I'm just going to I'm just gonna armor troll the whole time. This dragon... he This dragon's trolling me. This dragon has a troll head. It's really weird. He can't breathe fire, but he can regenerate really well. Where is this place at? I feel like I'm past it. I think I'm finally here. This this place sounds familiar. What was it called again? Broken Ore Grotto. I feel like there's some kind of uh, oof, uh, bandit or pirate oriented quest that you have to go in here for. I don't remember what it is. Maybe maybe it's a thieves guild quest even. I'm almost certain this this even looks familiar. Going over the broken boat. I've done this before. I've been here before. Go figure. Locations used in Dawn Guard. None of them are new. I've been everywhere. I've seen it all. Except for that dwarven crossbow. Is this some kind of pirate? I'm gonna assume that's a pirate, not Dawn Guard. Black Blood Marauder. That's what that was. That was a black blood marauder. Clearly. Clearly. Dim black blood marauders. They're trouble in these parts. Uh, were trouble in these parts. Are no longer trouble in these parts. Okay. Low amounts of gold. Not going to be searching the black blood. Marauders. Six each. The, uh, the little bit of solo play... I did allowed me to really do a big circle of quests all at once, and I kind of got decked out in gold. Um, so that's something else I need to show you guys. I've still got like 10k, um, but I uh, and, and you can see my speechcraft from it too. Uh, I've been selling all kinds of stuff. Where's speechcraft? Actually, I think it would have been faster to go the other way, but I'm almost here now. 46. It's almost 50. So very soon I'm gonna get merchant. That'll make it real easy to sell all kinds of stuff. Um, I've totally got my house in Windhelm decked out, though. It is, uh, it has all of the furnishings. All of the nice little bits, and, uh, I had the Breeze Home house just because it's so cheap. I got it early on just for storage, and I kind of like it as central storage. Um, but I'm going to move all my stuff out of there and into Windhelm. 
I think, into the Windhelm house. Uh, Yerim, I think is what it's called. H-J-E-R-I-M. Oddly enough. Uh, this is kind of a big area, if I remember it correctly. I kind of feel like I've already been through it, though. There's like, I think there's a chest back that way, and then it just loops around to this side. Um, I'll probably get some kind of nice kill shots through here, because this area is so cinematically satisfying. Um, quite like he heard that. something, but he did not see me. Let's try this again. That got it. He still didn't see me. I got the sneak on him. Oh, and look at this guy over here. He's like, the blue mist, it's moving. And then it comes right out of nowhere into his eye. It'd be really nice if you guys dropped this bridge. Hey, check it out. I can drop the bridge. It'd be really nice if you guys came over here and thought you were cool. Because I'm hot enough to melt right now. Yeah. What was your imagination? Because I've been thinking about them illusions. And so that means uh, the illusions are already happening around me. Oh, right behind him. Ooh, he even came, came back out. That's so... Oh, that's going to be too late. Nope, it got him. His thigh feels really bad right now. His thigh has just exploded with pain. Oh, an explosion. That reminds me. So uh, I went down into the back of Don Gar Fort Dongard, and I probably should have shown some of this. Um, cause there was some kinda neat puzzles back there. Uh, but, uh, it's already done now, so I can't really go back. I don't have a save before. I found some steel bolts, some special steel bolts. Uh, exploding steel bolt of fire, of ice, of shock. It looks like each one does ten points. Um, I've got ten of the shock. Let's use some of them. And I change ammo, and sure enough, he switches it. Boom! Wow, I wonder if it does, like, any kind of AoE damage. Whew, I'll tell you that they don't like it. Oh, wow, that is that is actually really cool. I don't have a whole lot of them, but yeah, it's doing it's doing quite a bit more damage. Well, I mean, obviously, 10 more damage than my uh, steel bolts were. I hope I can get to this guy before he falls all the way off. Oh, no, and the, uh, the troll blocks me. Um, ooh, no way. Oh, holy crap, my uh, ranger perk. I think it's ranger. Is it ranger? Uh, it's going to be this way. It's going to be right chair. This one way up over here. No, it's not. It's Hunter's Discipline. Hunter's Discipline applies to special steel bolts. That exploding shock steel bolt, I just picked it up off the dead body. I can use it again. That sounds crazy. How can how can a bolt set to explode in lightning have a second use? <laughs> I am not going to complain. I'm going to take it. That's going to be nice. And uh, I'm also going to take... Uh, not her, but uh, the dude talking. Where's the dude talking at? Steel Bolt, the one that came over here and lodged itself into his ribs. Come on now. There's got to be... Oh, another Black Blood Marauder. That was even in the shield. That hurt him really bad in the shield. That was like collarbone. Let's see if we can get neck or something. Yes. Neck, and it does it. Uh, it would be so nice. Um, it might kind of be annoying focusing on it, but it would be so nice if certain body shots actually had an impact like if you if you stuck a steel bolt in his leg he's gonna start hobbling towards you instead of walking you know uh, if you stuck one in his throat it was basically a one hitter quitter every time Hargar's journal I'm not sure there's anything worthwhile in there I'm gonna take it I'm gonna take some of those gold pieces in the potion and I think that this place is just about used up I kind of feel like there might be a skill book there somewhere, but I'm not going to worry about it. Whoa, Armored Troll is fat. Fat Troll is an Armored Troll. Uh, I've come back down now. There's a back way out of here. I know there is. And even better, there are Dwarven Schematics somewhere. Um, is it trying to say that they're hidden somewhere? So this is the forge. I already checked that out. Um, yeah, it's down there in that boat. Okay, that's cool. Well, I hope this water's deep, and if it's not, quick save. Whoa! Oh, yeah, that's great. Okay, I'll just jump off the side. I guess that works too. Yes, indeed it does. So this boat isn't actually sunk. It just wants to sink. Whoa, come on now. A master chest. You kidding me? Um, well, hold on. I, I've got a, uh, got a lock picking potion. Where is it? Where is it? I know I do. Did I skip it? Did I pass it? Pickpocketing? No, I've got a lock picking one, don't I? I don't. Ah! Ah, okay, well, here we go. Super attempts. Okay, after breaking about six picks, going around the edge tapping, I found the area where it's starting to move. Oh, I'm not quite there yet. If I remember, it was right in this range. We're going to start out. We're going to tap it in. We're going to tap it in. I'm backing it up some. 
Gotcha. Master lock, not too bad. It was like eight or so. Enhanced crossbow schematic. Ah, oh, it's kind of neat looking too. It actually looks like a some old scroll. Uh, I'm gonna take the dynamo core just because she might be like, "Hey, give me dwarven stuff." Matter of fact, let me just take. This is gonna be really heavy, but I'm just gonna take basically all of that. That scrap. Uh, and now, what's my best way out fast? I think it's actually. Uh, Let's see, through a side cavern somewhere. I'm not going to be able to make that, am I? Nope. Sure, I'm not. Okay, I don't need to show you getting out. I still have a uh, like second uh, second half of this to go. I'm not sure how long I've got so far on the video. Ah, fresh air. My armor troll has survived. I didn't really give him any good tests of might. I didn't really see the kind of damage he was dishing. I didn't really see him take any uh, notable amounts of damage. Hopefully we will see, though, very shortly. I now approach Dawnstar, the town that apparently a vampire's masquerading around in, uh, interfering with, I don't know, politics maybe? Maybe just overall town morale? I suppose both are a possibility. I wonder how Izran found out about the traveling bard. Yeah, he looked at him. Excuse me, hey, sir. Play me a song, Bard. A song? Uh, I, I, uh, I, I seem to wow, have he's, misplaced he's my He's all up in my face. Uh, this guy is like... Another time, perhaps. He's like embracing me right now. Come with me, Bard. Why? What do you want? He sounds legitimately scared, the vampire. Legitimately sounds... Whoa, whoa, why? <laughs> I want to show you something. It's important. You really must come. You've mistaken me for someone who cares about you and your problems. Find someone else. Uh, I almost want to confront him. I almost want to see if I can find, like, evidence. Uh, let's just confront him. Let's do it. You're no bard. I beg your pardon, sir. I don't know what you're getting at, but whatever it is, it's not appreciated. Your eyes are so orange. Until next time. So I either have to be discreet and just kill him? Or I have to find out somehow, uh, through a means of solid, clear, traceable Divine evidence. Sake, Scald. Who do you think we're threatening with our old war wounds? We're not soldiers anymore. Your man I think this is someone else's troubles. I actually think I want to find the what inn. I make of that? Uh, this first building, He's I think, is the inn. Service, He's supposed to be a traveling bard. If he leaves the town, he is screwed. I'm going to take advantage of him like I he is but a little calf. Irgner, get a hold of yourself. Not even as good as cattle to me. Again, more troubles that I don't necessarily this want to be uh, involved in. Room? They are just, don't worry. Uh, I've got a feeling that these are going to link to other quests that have nothing to do with the vampire, but I'm going to ask. Heard any rumors, Thorin? People say there's someone in Riften that can Yeah, yeah change the face changer, face. that's right. Do you have any other Everyone rumors? In town knows about the black door. The black door. And to never go near it. The black. What's the black door? D no, dude. You gotta. Mm -hmm. Is there? Over and over what is the black you door? Huh. It's I don't evil, think it I updated my map. I don't think it gave yeah. me a uh, a point of interest. Well, um, I suppose there is always you the old-fashioned method. So much as scratches you, you turn into one. Yeah, yeah, it's not. That's not true. Um, there's always the old-fashioned way of uh, just tailing him for a while. So, let's see. I'm going to see if I can... And this might get me in trouble. I'm going to tell the troll to wait. Still here. I'm going to tell Lydia to chill. Hey, watch over this troll, if you would. Take that sponge out of, uh, out of the back of his loincloth there. Give him a nice little sponge bath. Trolls need a good sponge bath just one of every the now and then. I don't want any trouble. You have to bathe them in whale lard, though. It has to be a sponge bath whale lard to keep their coat nice and thick. Um, I'm just going to tail this guy for a little while. And uh, if he just does a circle around the town, then I'm going to use the wait feature. And uh, I'm going to wait until night and then tail him some more. And hopefully find him with a victim. If he walks off into the wilderness, I'm so just going to crouch and pop him. Hey, it's funny, he continues to wonder. And I remember... Uh, playing the uh, vampire version of this quest. Um, what's this one called, by the way? Hide and Seek, that's right. I don't remember exactly what the other one was called, but I think it was to hunt down some 
exile vampire, or some imperial vampire, or something like that. And uh, he did this exact same route, the same route that this guy's walking through Dawnstar, the vampire version of this quest, which which it was a vampire that you were hunting, did the same exact thing. My thing. I so, uh, you with my life. let me get uh, Lydia and the troll back in the mix, because if I remember correctly, he doesn't ever leave the town. Uh, it is nighttime now, I may wait until it's a little bit deeper into the night. And then uh, this sucker's gonna die by crossbow. Uh, I'm thinking about getting the exploding fire crossbow bolt out. Uh, as you know well, vampires are weak to fire. I would really like to. It'd be awesome if I could get on this roof. Anyway. Oh, oh, I got higher. Oh, uh, oh, uh, there we go. Onto the roof. And he's right down below. You know what? I might just take this shot the next time this guard walks by. Um, give me fire. Yeah. Oh, ooh, yeah. I like the sound of exploding steel bolt of fire. Vampires do not like the sound of that. In description or in firing? Oh, don't tell me his time is going to be like dead on this guard. Go away, guard. I'm going to fall off the roof, too. Oh, this is atrocious. Why do you have to be so difficult? Oh. Oh, he's going to come up the alley. That might be fine, because he walks right back through there. That sounds like a wonderful place for him to go. Pine building down a dark alley. Yes, please. Send him there. Get my uh, behind the rock vantage point. I see the arrow moving. It's sliding. It's coming this way. <gasps> there he is. Oh, isn't he beautiful? That did not kill him. But this should. Yep, that got him. I think that might have even missed him, which would mean... Uh-oh, 1,000 bounty added to the pail. Ah! I stood up before I killed him. I was not sneaking. Oh, I'm going to have to redo that. I'm going to have to redo that. Okay, so he's lining up for another attempt here. Uh-oh, that traveler. Uh, that traveler is not just a traveler. This dude right here in the robes. Here, check this out. I think... Oh, no, nah, he, he might be on to me. See his eyes. Heard about I'm gonna you and see if he'll words. just uh, ignore me. And oh, I'm just missing my timing hey, on this guy. It? I've got an idea for how I can still make this one-shot thing work. Okay, I'm right behind him. I've got just the space. I think. Uh, let's see. I have some of these. There's a 30% increase to my archery. Uh, here's two more. Those are both 40s. I think 40% is the best I have. 40% more damage. So right now, my bow should be like 119. Plus the 10 from the fire damage. And please let me get this timing. And I just got it. One attack. Down he goes. I just discreetly killed the traveling bard. Now can I very undiscreetly uh, loot this burnt corpse sitting over here? <laughs> Ring of Minor striking. Nice. I would really like to have gotten that bolt back because they'll know. This guy, I've done this before. You don't have to enter the dialogue. Actually, you know what? Just for the interest of uh, showing this off, I just want to show you. Yeah, right. You're just a dude. You're just a traveler. I love it when dinner will right in <laughs> Yeah, and then he just attacks. He knows. I didn't even do anything to him. He just knew. And I'm going to take him out. Oh, Lydia, I'm so sorry. I'm going to take him out basically completely with the dagger. Even with him draining my health. Oh, I see him. I see your little magic. Oh, come here. Gotcha. Foolish vampires. In broad daylight. Arrogant vampires. Well, broad nightlight. Still, he was just walking around the town. That's what that's what I'm trying to... What were you doing, troll? My troll's... I don't know. He's over here pooping on somebody's porch. Thinking about eating this dead body right here. Talk about night terrors. That wraps up both of those. At once, again, two birds with one stone. Very nice. The masquerading vampire. Uh, though I did have to reload on that one attempt to not get the bounty. I think was definitely the easier what do you want? of the two. All I had to do was uh, get my damage to the right place and ba-bam! Gunmar. 
Cozy little place, isn't this? I've killed the vampire masquerading as a traveling bar. Very good. That's one less monster. Steel plate boots of dwindling about. shock. No, there's plenty That's going to be a shock resist. I'm going to disenchant that so I have that enchant. It could be a useful one. What have you got you for sale? I guess I don't need to show you some merchant that. shenaniganery. Hello, Serene. I'm back from Broken Ore Grotto with the enhanced crossbow schematic. Please apply it to mine. You're back and alive to boot. Fantastic. Of course, of course, I'm fantastic. Hmm. I see. Clever, Clever dwarves. dwarves. With a similar technique and a little Them tinkering, dwarves. I should be able to improve yes. the capabilities of our crossbows. Yes. What a great I idea! Often Please do that. Where be if the Dwemer were still around. Maybe oh. they are still we'll around. We'll have to manage with the scraps we find. Just not corporately. Here, let me show you how it's made. Yes, please do. Assuming you have the smithing skills, ah. you should be able to make this yourself at Gunmar's Forge. I think I need steel smithing. I don't quite have, have that. I really soon. need to prioritize getting that. You know what? I might have enough to uh, to do some smithing and, right, and try to get it. Um, let me just go see. I want to see. Uh, I think I can see the stats on it and see what I need to make it. Um, oh, I probably have to get steel smithing first. It'll probably show up in there. So I can't even look at it yet. Ah, uh, aha, there we go. Yes, was just able to smith enough. Uh, mainly did the iron daggers. Uh, I bought a lot of iron off both of these fellas right here. Uh, I also had quite a few iron ore just because I've I've been carrying a pick. And uh, anytime I'm off camera anyway, I'm really being a Nazi about getting everything I can from every environment. Just to really stack up on this, uh, this money getting. This little money getting period. 300 health, 150 stamina. Um, I think I'm going to go into health just a touch more here, still, before jumping back to stamina. And there's a very specific perk that I want this level, even though, is my speech, I, th I feel like my speech is really close. Okay, 46, that's not real close. It kind of goes up slow, too. Actually, I could go train it. I could go train that the next four levels, and I could have that merchant perk. But I'm not going to. I'm going to hold off. I'm going to get this one smithing perk and uh, I will likely end up also getting arcane blacksmith just so that I can improve any kind of stuff I find uh, I'm not sure that I'm gonna go up the actual either side of the tree um, I don't know we'll see we'll see when that time comes I wanna see though steel so there I can make a crossbow it takes three steel ingots and three firewood interesting that it takes firewood Enhanced crossbow takes a crossbow and two corundum ingots. Okay, well, I happen to know that one of these two guys has corundum ingots, so I'm getting ready to make an enhanced crossbow. Attacks with this crossbow ignore 50% of armor. That is awesome. That is that is very awesome. Steel bolt takes firewood and a steel ingot. Okay, makes sense. So I need to get some firewood. Let me talk a little bit more to these, uh... These before. storesmen, so storesman and stores-woman, I suppose. Corundum ingots! I think I needed two, is that right? Uh, I'm gonna get like four. Uh, it doesn't really matter, just in case. And does he have firewood? He does not have firewood. Huh. Okay. Ah, god, they got firewood right here! I'm gonna go ahead and take this woodcutter's axe. I feel like... Ah, this should be like a wood-splitting station. I should be able to split it right here. Why can I not? Oh my god, in the bedroom, there's so much firewood, it's just stacked up everywhere. Let me have some of it, guys. Can I please just take a couple logs off the top there? Oh, thank the gods. This has got to be, yes. Okay, so right there's the fort, right outside of it. A ch wood chopping block. So I'm going to chop myself up some, some good old firewood here. We're going to go make a better crossbow, and then, I don't know, I've got like 500-something bolts right now, just because I've been buying off those two in the fort. But uh, maybe maybe I'll make some more bolts, too. I've got quite a bit of steel. I think I've got like 24 pieces of steel. So uh, I may use some of that up. That would likely give me smithing experience and maybe even get me close to another level. And then uh, maybe go train Speechcraft, hoping that I'll get that perk with the next level and make selling really easy. And then just really launch ourselves off into uh, Vampire Slatum. Let's, let's get a little bit more here. All right, bring on the improvements. Oh, check it out. It was two corundum ingots. Steel bolts. I can make ten at a time for one and one. Wow, so I am getting ready to stack myself, oh my god, on steel bolts. I got a couple smithing increases there now. I just wonder. Oh my god, you know what? I can check it this way. Uh, oh, that's right. I switched. I no longer have that crossbow. 
that crossbow is used in creating this crossbow. And I saw the number there, but uh, let's see that again. Um, 991 steel bolts I now have. I think it will be a little while before I run out of any. I've got some daggers I need to sell still. Alright, well, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I have improved my crossbow. Um, it's going to pierce armor now. You may not notice a huge difference. Hopefully I'll just one-shot enemies a little bit more often, especially like the, uh, the shielded enemies specifically. Uh, I hope to see it make a real difference there. But it might not really be noticeable. Um, that's still very cool, though. I wish it showed like a graphical difference. I wish it looked uh, cooler somehow. Like, I don't know, maybe it had something else on the string or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more.